And all of this comes as families are looking ahead to the Halloween weekend. And to say that some parents are having their doubts would be an understatement. New Center Maine's Zach Blanchard has more on that. Yeah, Pat and Cindy, the CDC says this is largely because of community transmission as we start to expand our social circles and COVID fatigue clearly sets in. So this Halloween experts say the risk may not be worth the reward. It's neither trick nor treat. 103 new COVID-19 cases in just 24 hours, the highest spike since the pandemic began. Maine CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah tweeting out Friday, take action now for your sake and the sake of your family and community wear a mask and stay apart. This is serious. That's why Kevin Huddy isn't messing around this Halloween. I wasn't going to do it because of, of COVID. I figured everything shut down. I want to draw a crowd. His annual display in South Portland is usually quite the attraction. Skeletons, fog, and this year. We're going to shoot candy down this drainage pipe. A specially built nine foot candy shoot. Just hoping everybody plays by the rules. In Portland's Old Port, bars and restaurants still crippled by ongoing restrictions are hoping anyone planning to celebrate plays by the rules too. You know, people being diligent as best they can while they live their lives. I mean, we need to stay open. Seems a little bit too early to call it a surge, but all the ingredients seem to be there. Maine Health's Dr. Dora Mills says this is only the beginning of a second wave of the virus here, but it can be stopped. Um, we are really on the Cuss. We are at the top of this cliff and we've got to be careful. DC says low risk activities include carving pumpkins, virtual costume contests or scary movie nights. Moderate risk visiting pumpkin patches or outdoor costume parties. High risk traditional trick or treating, indoor haunted houses and hay rides. It's absolutely the time to hunker down. A new reality masking up not for the Halloween spirit, but for everyone's safety. Now, experts say the Halloween mask really doesn't cut it, and you should avoid it if possible and use the mask that really counts. I'm Zach Blanchard, News Center, Maine.